Bulls Nation, today we continue the free agency talk and we continue players entering the Chicago Bulls and what they would bring. And again, not all of these are going to happen, and especially this video, I don't think this one's happening either. But there's realistic possibilities that the Chicago Bulls are going to get a point guard. So, with that being said, it's time to look at every aspect, whether it's slight or very highly possible, and discuss what they could bring to the Chicago Bulls. And today he's going to be talking about a very experienced player, a very highly rated player, a player that in the end, at this point in the season, is in the NBA playoffs and is in the Western Conference Finals. Unfortunately for him, he does appear to have the virus, so we don't really know what's going to be happening with him. But in the end, for the Chicago Bulls, we could be discussing this player going forward. So without further ado, let's talk about Chris Paul and let's discuss him in this video. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today, we've got a Chicago Bulls related video and this one is referring to another point guard in the NBA that could be a free agent going in to the off season. And this point guard has done very well on his team at the moment and for every team that he's been on, he seems to have taken a big leap for that team. And he could, if there is a possibility, he somewhat joins the Chicago Bulls, that possibility could very well happen for us as well. And that player is Chris Paul, CP3 himself. We've discussed him before, and we're going to discuss him again today. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on, and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about CP3. How good has he been this year? How big was the step up for the Phoenix Suns with Chris Paul in, the, in, in that team? And overall, if he was to come to the Chicago Bulls, would he be... Would he do the same thing for us? That's the question I have to ask for you guys today. Those are the questions that I hope to see answered in the comments below. Now, there are a few things I need to talk about with Chris Paul. First things first, I want to discuss his 2020-2021 season. Uh, so far, he's averaging 16.4 uh, points per game, 4.5 rebounds per game, 8.9 assists per game, which is incredible. 49% from the field, 39% from the three-point line. Very, very, very good player in Chris Paul. Very efficient, very effective. And again, he's taken massive leaps for teams in the NBA. Every team he's been on, when it comes to the Rockets, when it's come to even, the, again, the Clippers, when it comes to the Hornets, where he was on an earlier in his career, all the way down to now OKC and the Phoenix Suns, he's made every team better. And that is something that, again, is very, very valuable. Even though he's not producing the same amount of stats as we've seen throughout the whole of his career, for many people, in my opinion, he's still an all-star and he's still providing all-star level numbers and he's also providing all-star level effectiveness in the games. And that is something that, again, I think would be very valuable for the Chicago Bulls. What does he bring to the Chicago Bulls? Um, he's a floor general, he's a leader, he's a, he's a very high IQ player, and he's a very effective player. The best of the best sometimes, and that's something that Chris Paul would bring to the Chicago Bulls. He would bring an elite mentality, a winning mentality, he would be able to change the effectiveness of this team, he would be able to bring this team to a very higher level. Of course, the East is much easier than the West as well, considering where the Phoenix Suns are right now, and what they were last season. You'd expect with Chris Paul, we would be in a better situation than where we are right now. That's very important. And obviously, he just he's just that guy. He's really that guy. There's, it's just one of those situations where you don't know what to explain about him, but he's one of the best players in the NBA today. And he's one of the, he's been one of the best players throughout his entire career. When you talk about LeBron, in the end, you could say all the things you want about LeBron, but LeBron is that guy. He is that guy. Same with Kevin Durant, same with Giannis, same with all these players. Luka Doncic hopefully will be one of those players in the future. He's that guy. You look at him, you say, he's that He's that guy. He's that guy that could take you to the next level. And that's something that I think Chris Paul would bring. Um, obviously, with Chris Paul, it's very unfortunate what's happened to him at this point in time. Um, again, Phoenix Suns fans all around the world, I, I, I don't even think they think it's an upset, but I think for many people it's an upset. They stunned the Lakers in the first round. They've made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. And then obviously Chris Paul now has the virus. So 
um, it looks like it could be missing some games, unfortunately, for the Phoenix Suns. And this is not the right time, if you're a Phoenix Suns fan, to be worrying about this. Unfortunately, this is the last thing that you want to see if you're a Phoenix Suns fan. Chris Paul, CP3, um, who had a very dominant um, performance, performance in the second round of the playoffs, unfortunately now could very well be missing some games in very clutch situation. And that's very unfortunate. But again, as CP3 always does, he has a very strong mentality and he will eventually be back. And when he when he does come back, I'm sure in his heart and in his soul, he still believes the Phoenix Suns can get to where they need to be for the Western Conference. But in terms of the Chicago Bulls, in the East, it's a much easier conference. Chris Paul brings that playmaking that we desperately, desperately need. I think he's one of the best playmakers, if not the best playmaker in the NBA today. I know... Like, you, you see Russell Westbrook averaging triple-doubles and whatnot. I think Chris Paul is a is the best playmaker in the league. And um, he, he's shown it every single year. And I think this year is very important as well. He brings scoring as well. That's very good to see. Obviously, it's not the 20-point-per-game scoring that you would like to see on a consistent night from Chris Paul. But he brings very good scoring. And again, scoring is not even what he's supposed to be doing. He's an elite playmaker. He's one of the best playmakers in the NBA. And the fact that you add 16 points on top of that, Chris Paul wins you games. It's as simple as that. You put Chris Paul in your team, you're going to win a lot more games than you do lose. And that's the type of player. Again, he's that guy. Should the Chicago Bulls pursue Chris Paul going forward? The question is, are you willing to pay Chris Paul? That's the that's the question here, let's be honest. Because in the end, put it this way, if you ask 29 out of 30 NBA teams right now, would you bring Chris Paul onto this team? 29 out of 30 of them will probably say yes. There'll probably be that one team that's, that's arrogant and say, no, he's too old, we don't need Chris Paul. But I think 29 out of the 30 teams in the NBA would say absolutely bring Chris Paul into this team. And that's something I hope the Chicago Bulls are thinking as well. If there's an opportunity to bring Chris Paul onto this team, I think regardless of age, I know his age, but he's shown so far that age is not something that should be an issue with Chris Paul at this point in time. At the end of the day, he's a short-term, he's going to be a short-term asset. He's going to be a short-term asset. He's going to come here for maybe two or three years and he's going to help elevate this team into the playoffs and maybe we could get something out of those playoff runs, but if we don't, then he's helped us achieve what we want and we want to be a competitive team that makes the playoffs. So in that retrospect, you need to consider Chris Paul as a viable option if you're the Chicago Bulls. There's been a lot of talk with Chris Paul with his player option that he's considering turning it down to try and get a three-year contract for around $25 million per year. Um, in the end, that's very that's a very large contract. And again, if you're talking about a player like Derrick Rose, which I mentioned before in the last video, someone did mention that he's worth $20 million. And $20 million is a high, very high number. And especially for Chris Paul and for players like Derrick Rose that are up there in age, it's a very high number to try and see if they're worth it or not. So with Derrick Rose, 20 million is a high number, but in the end, it could be worth it for a team that wants to take the next step. And I understand that. For Chris Paul, 25 million a year is a very large number, but for a team that's trying to take the next step, that could be a, that could be a contract that might be worth it for the Chicago Bulls. In the end, I would never say no to a player like Chris Paul. Whether he's a starter or coming off the bench, he's obviously going to be a starter for our team. It's very straightforward to the fact that he will take us to the next step. He will take us to the next level. He will guard the the best. He will guard the best players. He will do the right things. He'll become that playmaker. He makes Zach Levine's job so much easier. He makes Nikola Vucevic's job so much easier. He will make Kobe White's job so much easier. The most important thing for me about Chris Paul is how he could progress our young players. That's very important to me. Of course, we have a lot of young players on this team. Young players that need guidance. Young players that need a mentality check. A young players that needs to learn what hard work in the NBA looks like. What hard work is going to get you. What dedication to the game is going to get you. And Chris Paul is one of the most hardest working players in the NBA. Everybody says it. He's one of the best teammates of all time. He obviously has a connection with Billy Donovan as well that's going to help this team. In the end, he would make Troy Brown Jr., in my opinion... A 10 times better player than what he can be without him. Same with Kobe White, same with Patrick Williams. He could make Nikola Vucevic's um, performance take another massive leap this year from last year. Very, very important there as well. He loves playing with very good-minded centers. 
Um, Nikola Vucevic is one of them. And not to mention having a player like Zach Levine by his side, it reminds me a lot of what Devin Booker is doing with Chris Paul at the moment. 28 points per game is what Zach Levine's averaging this season. He might not average 28 points per game. He might average the 22 to 23 point per game, points per game. But we'll be winning a lot more of those games and Zach Levine will be a much more impactful player in my opinion, regardless of what his stats look like. Chris Paul brings a lot of that to this team. And again, I would absolutely bring that type of player to this team. Again, I'm not looking for age here. I'm looking for someone that's gonna make an impact. We're in that in-between stage. We need to get to the next level. We need someone to help us get there. Chris Paul, without a shadow of a doubt, in my mind, 100%, he will elevate us and get us to where we need to be. And hopefully when Chris Paul comes and Chris Paul goes, we're gonna be a 10 times better team because of that. And that is very important. But again, I'm going to leave that video here, a short video, a video that I don't think needs any more discussion than that. Chris Paul is a talented, very good player. Simple as that. He's that guy. And I'm going to keep saying it. And I know many people don't know what I mean by that. But again, when you look at players like LeBron, like Kevin Durant, he's that guy. He has that mentality. And he's, he's still an elite player in the NBA, regardless of age. And I would definitely bring him onto this team. I'd be willing to give him that contract if that's what he's asking for. Again, we need a point guard. We need a point guard. He might not be the first option on my list. He may very well be the first option on my list. But regardless of that, to say no to Chris Paul, I think is very, very naive. He's a player that I would love on this team. I've said it before and I've said it again. The only risk is his age. And after seeing what he's done with the OKC Thunder, after seeing what he's done with the Phoenix Suns, after seeing how good those teams have become because of Chris Paul and what they're like without Chris Paul, I think it's safe to say you'd want to bring Chris Paul onto this team. Simple as that. That's what I would want. I want Chris Paul on this team. And if there is a chance that he declines his player option and he wants a longer deal and he wants a little bit more money, then I think it's time that the Chicago Bulls look into that deal. Because in the end, I think it'll be worth it. But again, similar with Derrick Rose, if the contract's too high, I don't see it as a viable option for the Chicago Bulls. I don't know if that's the direction they want to go in, but that's absolutely what I would want on this team. And we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. I know many people might disagree with that, but CP3 is the guy for me. He's that guy. I want that guy on my team. Simple as that. It's wishful thinking. It's not going to happen. I think he's going to remain with Phoenix. I think Phoenix are going to cough off the money because why would you not if you're in the Western Conference Finals and you're very close to achieving something that no Phoenix Suns probably expected this season. They're very close to achieving a Finals push, a Finals run. They might not win the championship, but they were not even in the playoffs last year. And now they're, th they're thinking in their heads, we're an outside chance of a championship here. That's very important. That's something that I would want on my team any day of the week. So there we go. That's all I have to say on the matter. I'm going to end it. Have a wonderful and safe day. Safe day, Bulls Nation. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Hopefully you're enjoying the NBA playoffs. And let's see if Chris Paul can come back in time to help the Phoenix Suns get to the next stage. Take care.